Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Jacob with Cultivate Supply and CultivateSupply.com. Today, we're gonna to be going over installation for the Leader 1000 pump. And this installation is actually good for any of the Leader or Eco Diver pumps. They're all gonna set up exactly the same way with the same one inch outlet. This is the pump that you'll actually be receiving, the Eco Diver 1000 with the commercial irrigation kit for smaller sizes. It does about 100 sites. You can find that on our website. It comes with all these parts and pieces, as well as all of the irrigation for your room, all the drippers, everything. So you can buy it all in one spot. Don't have to go to Home Depot. Make your run nice and easy, nice and clean. So let's jump into it here. This pump right here, if you can see here, has a one inch outlet on top. We're gonna use that. These pumps also come with an internal check valve. Well, not internal, but a, a external that you can screw on. Um, it comes internally in the box. Um, this is gonna be key for making sure you don't have water siphon out. Um, definitely wanna make sure you use this. So first, what I would do is thread this piece here. You can see all the threading video uh, down below us, exactly how we would recommend that. For this video, we're gonna keep it all dry and no thread. So right here, you're gonna take this piece, it's gonna screw directly there into the top. Make sure you got a nice clean fit, get it nice and tight. Like I said, always use a wrench, but make sure not to over wrench it. If you ever see the plastic start to fracture or start to stress, you're going too far. So once we have that piece in from the top, that's still gonna be a one inch out. It just has the check valve in there. So we're gonna take our one inch male to one inch female PVC piece, throw it right there on the top. After that, we're gonna take piece of one inch PVC. Now this piece's length is gonna be determined by how high you have to go to get out of your reservoir. If you have a short reservoir, something like this might work. If you're in a large tank, you may need five feet. So this piece will be determined by your specific parameters. We'll put this in here after it's glued there. Next, we're gonna use a union valve. These union valves, as we said in other videos, are super helpful if you ever need to take apart your system, you need to clean your pump, your pump breaks. All you have to do is unthread this, keep the rest of your system in place, pull out the pump, replace it. It makes any sort of switch real fast, real easy. So after this, we're gonna take it, more PVC to an elbow so we can get up and out of the tank. We'll glue that, stick these in here. Once you're up and out of the tank, you're gonna wanna install your Arcal filter. If you didn't see our previous videos, we have an installation on this as well to show you exactly how to get that thing going. After that, I'm gonna pop this right here. Make it nice and easy. I personally like more fail safes than not, so I would put one of these pressure relief valves in as well. That would go right here before you go and hit any of your irrigation. From here out to the rest of the room, all you're gonna need is a couple other pieces of PVC that would come in our irrigation kit to get you to your table. 100 plants would be perfect for this zone. You could probably go a little bit higher on this pump, but we're selling 100. That's because we're recommending it. We like to overbuild our systems a little bit so we make sure nobody has any problems. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this. Thanks.